Hey -o. All right. So I was saying I'd probably only stream once a month, but these recordings actually aren't that bad, and they're actually a really nice distraction from constantly learning about coding every day of the week. <laughs> uh, so I, I might actually keep keep up with, uh, with a weekly Temtem tournament or something. So those of you who enjoy Temtem content, rejoice! Because, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll probably actually do this more often than I thought. Plus, after some... We just got an announcement this week from uh, Mustache Man, the, the comp representative. That oh, well, this is a brain fart. Uh, that they're going to be changing some stuff immediately, like in the 1.6.2 patch. It sounds like they're going to be reworking uh, harmful microwave synergy again to something, and then also they're going to look at distribution of zero holds in 1.7 and priority. So it sounds like some really good stuff, and so I don't want to completely drop the game, but queue times are getting upwards of 10 plus minutes every time. So ladder's been tough. I did complete my weekly matches because I kind of hatched a new team idea, which is this one that I'm going to be playing today. I'm going to go over it real briefly. It's just, it's a lot of stuff I've used before, like typical amphitheater. Like, it's basically my nature chromion core, except this is actually a source rep obi this time. I've got a Bully Grandpa just for fun, it's generic Saipat, Auhi, Lawali, and they're just rolled around there. Is the team good? No, I don't know. I mean, I played it a few matches. Don't type in the type chart, too. Oh, Tikos isn't even on the line. Well, okay. So I'll probably just, like, cut it here because it looks like he, he's not here, and we'll just have to jump into the next match, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'll... Pop in again, and we're going to see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back again. Unfortunately, Tickles did not show up. I think it's kind of a bad time for him. Uh, but anyways, we are up against Relax Stall Dead here in this round. I did get to peek in at the, the other match a little bit because I didn't have a round one. Did lose the coin flip though, so that kind of hurts. It is a best of one for these. So there's no like information gathering much. <laughs> but it, it, I, I do actually like it this way for at least the Swiss rounds because it's it gets very long if you don't have it like this. Alright. Amphitheater goes down. Down. That almost makes me wonder if this isn't. I don't. I didn't see the Koish before. In the in the other match, this team has a lot of weaknesses. Like the type chart is terrible for it. Mine that is. I'm trying to think. What beats Ob? And. Chromion lead. I think I just banned Tatteru just because the thing is so strong. I know I have Aohi to resist it, but he's also got stuff like Saipat and, and uh, Golzi. Both of which are actually things I can take out with Chromion, but there's also two fires there. And because there's two fires, I can't just ban out one of them, which is an issue. I think my best play here is actually Obi Grandpa, but that sucks because Golzi is pretty much free then. But he's not going to go for it. So that is very nice. However, it probably is going to be Synergy Master then. It wasn't the Iridescence like I was hoping, which also makes sense why he'd ban Amphitheer, but that just puts me at a larger disadvantage. So I'll turn one, I'll have to swap Obi for Lawali. And if I'm stacking damage there, I'm 
and I'm going to ban the Saipat. Just because if I'm going to have to take damage on Lawali, and there's two fires anyways, I'd rather just try and eliminate one of the things that I'd need my natures for, so they're not forced to do as much in a match. How he goes down, that makes sense. Chimurian is a much bigger problem now. I do have Nicho Sai on Saipat, which can help significantly. I think I'll go with Rolder in the last slot. I don't have Stoneball on the Rolder, so I'll have to get it in a um, swap at some point. Bait on the Mimit. I guess it w I wish at this point that I had Amphibian Psypat. Normally I don't run it, but at this point I wish I did. Because then I could swap into the double ice cubes and be plus four, plus two, and that would just be game ending. He probably knows that I don't just because I share all of my spreads all the time. And it's relatively obvious. We'll attack the real Koish. Because I feel like if he's going to save one of them to swap for a fire, that it's going to be the real one instead of the Mimit. He stays in, and he does go for the Ice Cubes. Super risky. Because if I had the other trait on my Psypat, things would have gone so much differently. I don't have turbo, unfortunately. I'm gonna go for an allergic spread and a hypno. Interesting. I'm surprised to see him go for the grandpa. Very surprised. Oh, that was insane damage. That helps a lot. I'll probably swap Grandpa out at this point. It can get a lot more value, but Lawali is pretty limited in how much left that it can do. This is also a great time for me to get the hold off of Nicho on Saipat. Even worst case scenario that he hits Grandpa slot with a Lava Wave and hits me with a Seize to disable my Schmeen's Horn, I actually get a Toxic Attack that I can use against Mastion then, which is just fine. And if he attacks Lawali here, that's fine, because it did its job. Like, I don't need Lawali for anything else. I bring in Grandpa here, and then we just tornado the Hazrat slot. Did he have bait? Yeah, he had bait on the Mimit, so he doesn't have anything for the, the gym. So I'm going to throw Toxic Ink out, just in case he swaps. Which he doesn't. He actually just goes for the grandpa here. Saves me the trouble. He gets the toxic farewell, which kind of hurts, but that's okay. That's great damage on the Mastion. Ooh, high pressure water. I'd love to see it. So he actually had a high prio option on his Mastion. I had just outsped.
Gonna bring in Rolder now. Before Tremurian gets its nature attack up, just in case I need. Just in case I would need. Because uh, I want Tremurian gone before I even bring Obi back on the field, but I'm pretty sure this game is just over for him. Because this should do like 80% of the thing's health. I've got a little more. At okay, or just 100%. Must be a speedy Tremurian. I've got a bit more attack on this Psypat than I do most of my Psypats. And he has... there's no way this Mastion can ever kill Saipat. Plus, that's just ignoring that it's out of everything, so... GG. I think he... I think he just had a lot of damage in his spreads, damage and speed, and he wasn't prepared to beat a more mid-range team like mine. Even though I have some faster options in it. I, I think, like, Amphitear scared him off of probably, like, oh, this thing can outspeed me. Not that my Amphitear is, like, super duper quick. But it's still an Amphitear. Even with 135 invest, I'm two, still 274 speed, which I'm pretty sure is faster than Max Koish. So I would have been able to plague before I got froze or anything. So I guess that made sense for a man. Also, Tesla Prison for on tempo speed drops and stuff. Not sure though, but we got the win, so GG. And so that was round two of Swiss. There'll be three rounds, so there'll be one more, and I will see you guys in a moment. Alright, we're back again with the second, or well, the third, but our second <laughs> last round of Swiss. <laughs> we're up against Zax. We won the coin flip this time, so we can send. Could help. I didn't look too much as. At his team he's running right now. The only thing I know about it is that his Garenda runs Tesla Prison. Ugh. And everyone's on Tatteru. I don't have a whole lot of anti tatter tech on this team. I got like a couple burn options. They got poison option on Psypat with Tink. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much reduced to banning Tataru every time. It's just like a ha ha, ban me. <laughs> uh, right. and, and now he was banned anyway, so I, I definitely had to make that choice. Uh, Karen makes me think it could have like stall options, maybe like a parry or mashuk, lifeful sap, saku, shelter grunder or something. I don't know what I actually want to pick here. I guess... Obi is such a good flex start when you have other things that pair well with it. Because it pairs well with Grandpa, like in my last match. I mean, if it wasn't like the Ice Cube strat, which I think it was always going to be. It's kind of an interesting lead, not one I would have expected. Especially since... The Mimit is in that slot. Yes, I don't have a whole lot to break through Saku, so maybe that's my issue. Um, but Plasma Beam can inflict a status and also reduce damage. And then Hypoxia with Bully and then Hand Fan just hits like a truck. And then turn two, I can Hurricane. And then Plasma Beam again if I'd like to. And usually that'll finish off whatever time I chipped in the first round and give me a speed boost for afterwards. It's just a new strat I'm kind of playing around with. I didn't, like, they bu buffed Bully by 5%, which I still think is kind of a joke. Definitely on the softer ends of what I think should have been buffed with it, but I'll take what I can get. I still like Bully as a trait. I just think there's more potential, and it looks like he understands that. I, I don't know, he just... It's a little interesting... I think I think I want to ban Mashuk. Well, no, we're gonna ban Garunder. I'm gonna start off picking Lawali because Lawali can hit these three super effective. Amphitear can hit those top two super effective. 
but loses to Gialis. But if we can get to like an end game situation with Amphitir and Amphitir and the Sakus, then that could be really nice. Problem is I actually opted for allergic spread over binary flood on my my Chromion and I am now regretting it strongly. <laughs> Because if I had Binary Flood, I could actually push off a Lifeful Sap with Plasma Beam and Binary. And that would be huge. Absolutely huge on a turn two. He's going to take his own Saku with the, the Mimit. Almost guarantee it. With Fake Beard, the only thing that's going to knock me out, though, is dying from damage. He's got... First aid kit on the Saku. I'm going to go with Plasma Beam just because I think the 6% is going to be more than the 6 damage on the Saku at this point. Yeah, he goes for his own Saku. No surprises there. No point in attacking it this turn. He's actually just helping me out doing another 5% ship damage to his own Saku. Maybe a Debris Typhoon play here with the, the double Saku. Oh, that did so much damage. What am I doing being afraid of Saku? Let's see, that did 90 down to 57. I can't, I can't think. That's just like 33. See here, if I had Binary Flood and I just clicked it, that would be fantastic, but... That's not a super great option. He's going to stay in. I know he has first aid kit, and that's going to proc here, and it's going to feel really bad. Because he's going to gain a whole bunch of health back. But I think next turn I can knock him out with just the microwaves. Oh, he's actually going for a frond whip. That doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And anything the real Saku wants to do is burn. Oh my goodness, that did more. So it's a botanist Saku. That's interesting. Wouldn't be surprised at all to see the, the Saku swap here. But I'm still not too afraid. Like, I could bush here on Obi, but I'm just going to keep dishing out damage. Yeah, so the Saku does swap. Cowron comes in. Makes perfect sense. Not sure what's, what the, the Mimit's going to do. It'll be burned, whatever it does do, though. Double screen. Goes for a lifeful sap. Okay. Karen's got nut bar. I'm curious what's going to happen here. Like, I'm tempted to just reset the Mimit, but I... It's going to lose value if I just stop attacking it. The biggest thing I'm afraid of is Chromion starting to run out of stamina. Which isn't an immediate problem, but it is one that's going to rack up super quick. I'm going to go for the Plasma Beam and the Nature Torrent. Just in case he decides to swap back into Saku or into Mashuk or something. That Plasma Beam will be able to hit him for some extra damage. He has to Frond Whip if he wants to kill Obi, but he actually swaps. So I think I can knock out the Cowron before he even gets a move off here, which would be massive. I'm getting tons of Marbles value on my Chromion. Ooh, okay, maybe the Cowron will be bulky enough to take this, hard to say. No, one health! You gotta be joking. Yeah, that deserves a fall. <laughs> Emote. Luckily, he used Stonewall, and I've got a team full of special attackers. Like, the only physical attacker I have is Rolder. So I'm, and I'm not afraid of plus one Spadef. I'm just not. Can throw a bush. I don't know if it's going to be a max speed Gialis or something. I'd be surprised to see that, 
That's for sure. It would actually be really good if he's able to kill me here. Because then he would remove the... Stamina. The stamina reduction on harmful microwaves. Oh, so much damage. Beautiful. Goes for Crystal Bite on Chromion. Maybe predicting me to swap? I do get a, a tick of regen here, so that puts me... I guess another Turbine wouldn't have killed alone. This seems like about as good of board as any for one to bring in. Ugh, it's tough. I, I want to keep both of these two alive. So I think I'm going to bring in Rolder and Lawali. The Saku's probably going to Lifeful Sap, and that sucks. But I can't do much about it. Like I said, I still... Oh, really? Yalis has marbles of all Thames? Of all Thames! Sharp stabs. Oh, it actually goes on the Lawali slot. Not what I wanted to see. Oh, and a Frond Whip. So we eat the Frond Whip, and that's nice. Because now Rolder also doesn't have to worry about that this turn. Nothing wants to swap. Like, Saku can't do anything. It's going to OX if it does. And he's running out of his pivot options. He's still got the Mimit here. I wondered if he'd do that. I actually swapped Saku as well. To hit the Mashuk. Very interesting choice. I'm able to trap the Mimit, but that doesn't help me a whole lot. What I need to do is knock out the Mashuk. And knock out the Gialis. Then I'll be in good shape. Parry your Mashuk. Not really surprised there. Gonna go for an Earthbreaker on it. And then a Hypoxia. And hope that he's not a speed invested Mashuk. It seems like a very slow and bulky team. I would be very surprised to see speed invest on the Mashuk. But yeah, okay. We're good there. Earthbreaker might take it out here. I think it will, honestly. While they goes down, Roller's surely going to eat a Frond Whip here. But if that's all it takes to knock out Mashuk, I'd make that trade any day. Because the end game I'm going for is like Chromion and Amphitir. And I am getting closer and closer to it. Alright, now the problem is, my Amphitere is actually settling and not relax. So, my... I'm going to rest on Roller here. It's okay if it dies. I'm actually going to Sparks, because this... Like, any damage boost I can get on Amphitere is going to just... Rack up and pay dividends. If he knocks out Roller here, that's just fine. I don't think he will, though. If he just goes for a lifeful sap. Which is fair enough. Alright, so we're gonna just Goring here. I'm gonna go for another Sparks. Just gonna continue racking up Sparks. Because I don't have T-Strike. Best thing I can do to hit these things is Tesla Prison, but their hits on me aren't gonna be real hard hitting. Every single damage boost I get, because we'll get more value the more turns I hit with that boost afterwards. So if I end up getting to a late game where I have to do like four or five Tesla Prisons, then having plus three special attack will be massive. He's going to swap out the Saku, get rid of his last pivot in the Alice. Because I do take it out even through the stone wall because Rolder's a beast. And Amphitere is scaling.
Petal Dagger doesn't even knock out the roller. Roller value. Now, I am actually going to Earthbreaker. I'm going to Plague an Earthbreaker. Because that will push off the... The Lifeful Sap healing. So that next turn, when a Roller dies, I can bring in Chromion, throw a Harmful Microwaves, and a Tesla Prison, and this Saku will go down. And then this game should be all but secured... That damage is still way more than I'd like it to be, considering it's a resist, and I have bulk. But, what can you do? Alright, so I remember that Harmful, with Sinner Typer, which I still have, did over 30%. I'll still Tesla Prison this slot, just in case my math is wrong, and I'm dishing out damage anyways. But this should be... Yes, it is enough to take it down. And now, it's one Mimited Saku against three of my Thames, and no easy way to hit them. Even just a Tesla Prison does like 23%. Frond Whip, not doing a whole lot of damage. And that'll be game, GG. I think he had a bit of a rough pick ban phase there. Also, he had with a slow paced team like like that, you need lots of lots of high damage to beat it. Or he it gets beaten by lots of like hyper aggressive teams, which I have the option of doing with the uh, Chromion and Ob lead. So it's kind of like. And Amphitear also fits well with that, which is nice. And then he kind of banned out based on typings, because if I was able to bring Aohi, I would have had type advantage with Fiery Soul, and that would have helped significantly, and also would have been burning him, reducing any damage he had when he was trying to take me out. So, I think it was just a bit tough for him, but GG's nonetheless. We should be getting into the... Should be getting into the whatever, like, four player top cut now, which should be best of threes. So, it'll be that in a moment. Okay, we're back again. We're in the top cut, which I believe will be top three. We got a rematch against Relaxed All Dead. I honestly forgot how this, this matchup went before. Even though it was like a whole 20 minutes ago, but <laughs> we won it. Uh, this was the one where he just had a lot of speed. I think that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if he utilizes his speed, I, I think I could be in trouble. Like, I because I skimp out on a lot of speed, if he can take me out with his prio options, then that'll be really dangerous. Like, my Chromion cannot live a Lava Wave from either of his Fire Tims. He can't live it from either one. In fact, I think I'd get outsped and killed by his Hazrat, which would be nasty. I don't want that to happen. Unfortunately, it looks like he's taken just a bit to recognize. We did get faked out at first, where since there was a, a weird... Because Teagles didn't show up, there ended up being a really weird situation in the bracket, where there were two of us at 3-0, and and then three players at one and three or one and two and so there was no players at two wins so we were almost debating on just doing a, a grand finals instead of top four but we are gonna do the just the top four because why not more more temtem content right who's complaining <laughs> so may maybe maybe he got faked out by that um let's see I guess I'll just pause and then just start it up again when he's back. Okay. 
So, Relax actually never showed back up. Maybe he was burnt out. Who knows. Uh, I think I forgot to play... I set up the music and then forgot to play it throughout the entire... rest of this, the match. And then the normal battle music's fine. I just have it turned down normally. So you can hardly hear it. And I like some background music. But anyways, so this is the Grand Finals now. We're up against Kivkinski. He's got a Tataru. Kind of a menacing team. Definitely don't like seeing a lot of these Thames. So my first plan is I'm going to ban Tyranak, let him pick the Brain Dead Tatter Shween combo, and then I'll pick Chromion Obi. I can reset the Rage with with Obi, and I should be able to do a ton of damage, maybe even take out Shween turn one with with Chromion and Obi. Ooh, that's interesting. I was always picking this. He doesn't have a fire. He's not threatening my my Chromion at all here. I can ban out the Tatteru now. And all of a sudden, I think I'm in a much better spot. Like, I got... Answers for Psypat, as long as like, he doesn't get his Shween Psypat board when I can't... Literally can't do anything to it. That would be tough. I want to ban Psypat there. He must not know that my Psypat's uh, sh uh, Shinobi tactics. Amphitere for sure, because it walls... Gazuma. And it also helps against those two, too. And I think I'm going to grab Lolly as well, because it helps against these two and Akronox. Decent against Gazuma. It's faster, can do damn control and stuff. Also helps me scout out the picks. Okay, so he didn't pick Shween. So I don't have to be worried about Amphibian at all. Going to pick Grandpa here, because that's going to be my best secondary option to deal with Chimurian. I don't know how fast this Chimurian is. If it has bait, I'll probably decide what to do second, but my plan is to burn the Chim. Fake beard, okay, okay. So I'm going to burn the Chim, just so it does less damage, whatever it wants to do, and I'm just going to throw microwaves at the Theodoro. Because it's got Reactive Vile. A Burn CPG plus a Beta Burst, I don't think I'm going to die to. He swaps in Gazuma here, because Gazuma's really not going to do him a lot, of, a lot of good this match. So that's good sack by him. Gazuma's got the bait too. I wonder if it's CPG OB or Chromion, I don't know which. Chromion? No, it is the OB. See, I can take that fairly well. I don't die to a Glass Blade now. See, I have Grandpa to deal with Akronox, Lolly to deal with Psypat, Amphitir to deal with Psypat, Amphitir and Lolly, and they can all deal with Adoro, so the only things that are actually issues are these two on the board, and the main one that's an issue is Chimurian. I am okay sacking Chromion for Chimurian. Biggest thing he could do here is Tornado or Tesla Prison Chromion while swapping his Chimurian for Akronox. Lots of good damage. Okay. There's a Tesla Prison on Chrome, man. Is he going to double? Or is he just going to take the, the one? Okay, he just went for the one. Okay. Amphitir gets more value than... 
the Wally. Alright, this is a bit risky. Oh, it's no, no, I forgot I'm minus one speed. That was troll. No, no. Okay, that might be the end of me. I should have plagued the Chimurian and just went for Nature Torrent. Maybe maybe he'll Glass Blade, thinking that I, I was I will do that, and then I didn't because I did the stupid play. I got way too greedy, and I think I might just lose off of that. There's no reason I should be making decisions this fast. No reason at all. It is a best of three, so even if I make a couple mistakes, gather some info, it'll still be fine. I think Chromia can live just a CPG, so... <laughs> Look at us both messing up. I predicted... Yeah, I... Oh, he went for the Lolly. Interesting. So he's trying to put it in range so he can knock it out with... With Akronox, I'm sure. The Nimbles on the... The Gazum is kind of cool, though. You don't see that often. Okay. He can't take out both in, in one turn. At least he shouldn't be able to. This is going to be a Microwaves and a Hypoxia. It's kind of whatever, honestly. Getting lots of Marbles value here, which is nice. Psypad's definitely in range to die to whatever one attack I want now. Adar was probably in, in range to die. Uh, maybe not. I was going to say it was in range to die to a Tesla prison, but it doesn't look like it will be. Synergy Master is kind of cool. You don't see that too often. Okay. I'm going to go for an allergic spread because I'll still be faster than this Adoro. Get some good chip damage down on it. Unless he attacks me with Psypat, in which case that's honestly fine. Oh, he's going to go double on the Amphit. No, he's, he's, he's still going for the Chromion. He just couldn't use uh, V Claws because that went to killed. That was actually kind of close to not killing. I've actually maxed special attack on Amphitere. Alright, that's a good live. That's a good live. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Plague and Hypoxia the Akronox because I'm Bully. And then I'll just Tornado the, the Adora next turn. I could have done something like Hypoxia and then Bright Beam, but I just want this Akronox out of here. And there's no guarantee I live this sting. Oh, he goes for the grandpa with the sting. Interesting. Interesting. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, that's bad. He's toast now, though. This is like the exact end game I wanted, so. Helps a lot. Even with the special attack drop, it just doesn't matter. Adoro doesn't have anything it needs to take me out here. This will probably take it out on its own. Yeah. Hand fan, max special attack, grandpa. Woo! Right, GG's round one. We should hop right into round two so I won't stop it or anything. He'll get to send again. I was on orange side. Oh, let's go back inside for just a split second. Oh, we were, we were gliding around for a moment. Alright, round two.
Okay, um... Insta-ban on the Chromion. Okay. New plan. Tataru probably has to go, but because he banned Chromion, his... He gets a lot less value from Tyranac. He didn't pick... He didn't pick Tataru before, though. I don't know if I want to let it through or not. I'm gonna ban the Shween. Because one of my counters to Shween is now gone. Being one of my nature hitters. And with a fire and two toxics, I don't really want to pick my natures much. I don't have a lot of physical attackers to punish the Tataru. But what I can do is another grand... I can do the Grandpa Obi lead here. At least that was going to be my plan. I don't know if it still is. I think I always go Obi. Obi's great into his team. He doesn't have a lot of counters to it. I think we go Grandpa. It's not great into the Gazuma, but Grandpa should be able to take two Tesla Prisons. I just don't know if that's worth it, is the question. Just keeping Grandpa around would be nice. Banning the Tadaru here, because he probably wants to ban Aoki anyways, yeah. Now he's really good against... Okay, Tyranac. He also has Psy Wave, lower special defense, which is great uh, for my primarily special attacking team. Pick up Lawali for sure. Having a wind attack is good. Pretty tempted to grab Amphitir as well, even though it gets walled by Chimurian and Tyranac. Yeah, that might be a last pick, but I don't know what I want to deal with the other two. Probably a boulder, actually. The only thing that Roller really doesn't want to face is the Adoro. He didn't even pick the Psypat. It's kind of more of a reason to pick Psypat. Probably taking out, or getting close to taking out the Chimurian turn one. Yeah, I don't know. I think that could have gone either way on the last pick. I don't... Because assuming I take out, or mostly take out Chimurian turn one, then Amphitir only loses to Tyranac. But Saipat always loses against the Doro. I guess the Doro has Reactive Vile though, so assuming I proc Reactive Vile first, it could have still been good. Hard to say. Alright, well, maybe. No, he goes for Nimble. So he doesn't attack. That's huge for me. If he Tesla Prison there, I would have been feeling real bad. He does get that the CPG off before he attacks though before I get my attack off, which is not what I wanted to see. Does some pretty good damage, but still f not optimal. I know that there's some speed in that Shimmerian now.
This is actually a pretty good turn to bring in Rolder. Because I can eat the CPG and get hold off of Rockfall, and if he brings in a Doro, then he'll still be in front of a Grandpa, unless he starts dealing damage to me now. I don't know how fast this Chimurian is. It outsped 292, which is Obi's speed, at plus one. But Grandpa with Tornado is 232, which is like Amphitear max speed. He goes for the Glass Blade, so that does zero damage. Get the Tornado, and that'll knock out Chimurian. Obi is still alive, so we can bring it in later. If we can get one more hold off of it, we can do a, a bush. And that could be huge. Alright, now... Minus two... Oh, he brings in Tyranak. Interesting. Not what I would have guessed at all. Getting some damage on Tyranak is nice. Because I... I it's one of the things walling my natures right now. Problem is, Gazim is just here kind of farming. Farming damage. I think I'm going to have to sack Grandpa, unfortunately. But minus one, it wasn't going to be doing a whole lot anyways. He might go Sharp Leaf on the Rolder. Intimidators, no receptive, but that doesn't matter a whole lot. Oh, that, that damage is so nice. He does do the sharp leaf. Get my reactive vial. Electric storm, okay. He'll probably take out Rolder here, unfortunately. Maybe not, I suppose. Ah, oh, it doesn't kill, but I didn't think it would. Meteor Swarm, okay, so he will not knock me out this turn. get fake beard here. Oh, I don't get... I don't get fake beard. I'm wrong. I, I don't get fake beard, but I get tardy rush. So bringing in Obi on the swap counts as the turn before. That sucks. Alright, we'll knock out Tyranak. I don't think Gazuma can kill Rolder here. So I should be able to get one more hit off with Rolder. At least. Let's for Tesla Prison on Obi. Okay. That's not great. But I'm alive. Gazuma's running out of Stam. Rings in a Doro. Okay. I know it's Synergy Master Adoro, so I don't have to be worried about Roller dying to Toxic Skin. We'll see what he does. He oh, he, he okay. He used he used Tornado. Hello X. I don't think I'm in that bad of a spot though, because I still get this one last hit off with Roller, which is super good. Because that's great damage on Gazma. Puts it in range of dying to any one hit from either either of my last two tomes. Question is, can Lawali live a V-Gust and a Sting? Because that's really what I needed to do right now.
I think Sparks is going to be better here. Yeah. Ooh, denigrate. Okay. Not great, but honestly, not that bad. Can use resin trap just because I don't know f for confident that plague would kill. I'll use plague on the Gazuma though. Alright, and then Plague, Hypoxia, Plague should be just fine under this Akronox. I don't think there's any way it lives and wins. Sting won't knock out either of my Thames. I get Settling Boost just for some Salt in the Wound. It didn't do as much as I'd like, but 33% is still good to an Akronox. Oh, right, because I'm, I'm minus... I, I'm just barely base. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's why. So 33, doesn't even get the chance, nice coat, good game. That was a pretty good tournament run for me, didn't lose a single match. I mean, I just made this team yesterday, like, right before I went to bed, I, I played just a couple games. Uh, so I mentioned it at the start, but I mean, I... I've been spending a lot of time like straight up learning and working on my code. I just f for the the game I'm making, but it it takes a lot of mental capacity. Um and so I just need more mental breaks than I initially planned on giving myself at at first. And so I'm probably going to play matches sometimes. Probably try and do these tournaments on the weekend, at least to just play tournaments because this only took like 2 hours total. And I still got to play some really nice matches. Would have been, been able to play even more if I didn't have a buy in the first round and a buy in the first round of the grand finals or the, the, of the, the top cut. So it, there's even more I could have gotten done. I think, and with the 10 minute queues, I think just doing the just play tournaments once a week is probably going to be the best. If anyone's interested in joining them, definitely check them out. East usually posts the code in the the main Discord under community events. Otherwise, also in the Archipelago Arena. But yeah, so that's going to be it for me today. Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you probably next week with another tournament. See you then.